every year. And the things that we try to do is really honor those individuals that are working within the community and also honor those brothers that's working within the community. And so on Friday, we have a meet and greet for these uh, individuals. And then on Saturday, we have a luncheon, which is our Achievement Week luncheon at the, t at the Sheridan in Towson. So that's what we currently have in place. Good stuff. Good stuff. And uh, tell us your name. Marlon Robinson. And what do you, what's your thoughts on uh, Omega Sci-Fi Theta Mu Mu? They tell me y'all got all of the shoppers cats in Baltimore County in y'all chapter. Is that true? Absolutely. Can't you tell? I hear you. <laughs> I hear you. Stealing radio shows. <laughs> tell them about the chapter. What's significant about it? So what's significant about the chapter is uh, we're in Baltimore County. Uh, we're probably one of the newer chapters in the state of Maryland. Um, you know, it, was, it was an opportunity to uh, implant Omega Sci-Fi within Baltimore County. As you know, Pi Omega is probably one of the older chapters uh, within the fraternity. Uh, That's down on Presbury Street. Right. School right. 29. Absolutely. So we've had an opportunity to kind of move into Baltimore County and Im impact that space as well. Um, there's definitely a need uh, in Baltimore County as well as Baltimore City. So just a real good opportunity to really kind of continue to provide that exposure uh, to the community and, and, and kind of impact the leadership that's already here by collaboration. And, and that's all a part of Achievement Week as well. And, you know, acknowledging you and uh, Sister Phyllis Coley and uh, some of the other uh, community-based and community-oriented folks that are in the county. Mm -hmm. right. And I think one of the biggest things with, uh, we call Theta Mu Mu, not your daddy's grad chapter. In other words, we're, we're the young and coming, up, up and coming brothers. I think our chapter demographics are between 30 and 45. And really, it's those movers and shakers that are trying to make things happen within Baltimore is where we are located at Theta Mu Mu. Well, who are some of the people in your chapter? Brag on them. Hey, well, right now, actually right behind us, we got Brother Evan Murray, who was, who was one of our boss lists. He's actually uh, one of the, the brothers that chartered the chapter. He's one of the founders of the chapter. So y'all done just brought the whole we, army we, in here. Come brothers. on, grab the mic, say something. <laughs> Put your camera down. Tell them who you are. Come on. I'm Evan Murray. Good morning. How are you doing? Tell them what you do. Uh, currently, you gotta I, use the mic. Okay. Currently, I work in the DC public school system as a program manager for special uh, compliance. Is it critical that Omega Sci-Fi is in DC public schools? It's critical that Omega Sci-Fi is in every public school in Why? Urban, just because of the impact that African American males make within the community. If you look at our our cardinal principles, manhood, scholarship, perseverance, and uplift, manhood. Most of our most of the young men uh, in in our communities nowadays they are devoid of that man image. So we're looking at positive leaders, looking at people like President Obama, looking at kids wanting to be... Is he like Omega Sci-Fi? No, but it'll be great for him to be one one day. Did y'all solicit him to, to join the grad chapter? No, but we also have the U.S. Attorney of Washington, D.C. in our chapter, Ronald Machen. Mm -hmm. Who are some other famous Omegas? So oh, famous Omegas, I mean... You I know Jesse Jackson's one. Jesse Jackson is definitely one. If you look at, I think right here in the Baltimore area, if you look at uh, one of our founders, which is uh, Bishop Ed, Ed Gamus Love, who was down at the Sharp Street, uh, Sharp Street uh, Church, who was one of the bishops that also helped when we started. If you look at that church, it started also uh, Morgan University. So you look at all the fabric within Baltimore, just the, the history within Baltimore is very deep-rooted in the Brothers of Omega Sci Fi, and that's one of our founders and, and, and famous Omega men to me. Mm -hmm. You want to add something to that? Well, I mean, just, 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 in a, just as an add-on, in terms of uh, famous Omegas, I mean, you have, uh, you have Bill Cosby, you have... Uh, 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 Brother Earl Graves, who was actually a graduate from Morgan State University, mm -hmm. Black Enterprise Magazine. Just, Qu just too Quasi many Fume. things. Kwasi and Fume, who's one of our our newer members, along with Ray Lewis, who's who did you our say? Kwasi and Fume. Kwasi? Yes, absolutely. Is an Omega. He's an yes, Omega. Sir. Wow. What you want to say? I also want to say that currently, uh, uh, Councilman Nick Mosby is a member of Omega Sci Fi Fraternity Incorporated. Who? Nick Mosby. Who is that? He is a councilman in Baltimore City. Oh, okay. Um, let me ask you this. Uh, this masculine image, because a lot of times, you know, I look on the television and I see these soft images of black men. And that's one thing y'all got a lock on. Now, I know the smack y'all done talked about oh, the alphas over the years, 1906, and I know the pretty boy lying about the cappers. What's this masculinity all about? You know, I think it's all about manhood. As, as I said, our four corner principles. Nah, man, we got some soft images out here of black men, Jack. <laughs> you, you, your question is, why are we so masculine? Is that what you're asking us? Mm -hmm. Seems to stand out. Yes, it does. I think that... You want to use that mic, buddy? 
Can't eat. I think what you think, I think when you look at organizations, you look at what draws certain people to certain areas. So you look at our, our cardinal principles and our founders. Three of our founders were undergraduates on a the campus. They saw things they didn't like. And they said they wanted the very best of the very best. Our first 14 members who joined our fraternity all had A's and B averages. They were the leaders. So our fraternity always looks for leadership. So it's not like, like we don't search and say we need him. We need. They're drawn to us. Just like people who probably are drawn to your show, they're drawn to your show because there's something that you're doing. But my fraternity, we traditionally draw individuals who want to make a difference. Man, the first Omegas I saw in my life were Mondam and Mall, cats on, had, had on army fatigues, bro game boots, and they were marching. And that stood out because in the neighborhood I grew up in, uh, Moreland Avenue, Warwick, they were selling a lot of dope coke and ready rock around there. Mm -hmm. Any final thoughts before we run? As you see, we have a packed studio. It's certainly, final thought in it. Certainly. I think um, just one of the things that in every stages in life, I think what you'll find is Omega Men, you see the younger college student, and then you see those men that have finally made it into, into society. They're in a different place in life, and they're doing a lot more. So it goes back to what is our activism? What do we want to do for, within the community? And I think within Theta Mu, we're at that age now where we're establishing our careers, and now we're ready to try to bring up and pull people along with us. That's where we are currently with Omega South Fly. If I'm not mistaken, there's an Omega out at Deer Park Middle School. Vice principal, that ring a bell? Well, I, I just seen some of your soldiers all throughout the community, and, and it's always good. How can people get in touch with you? Certainly, they can always uh, go online. We're at www.thetamumu.org. Um, when you see that, they also have an 800 number where you can leave a message for any of the brothers. Uh, we're always doing a lot of mentoring. We work very closely. You see one of the presidents of the Seed School in Baltimore, Khalid, Dr. Khalid Kirkland. We work a lot with a lot of his youth. So that's how they can contact us. Okay. Good stuff. Good deal. Thank you, Dr.